guys, uh, good uh, morning. Uh, today we are live in Abia Kuta and uh, we are in Aleluya's farm in Abia Kuta. So today we are into many things which you will be seeing on this video. We are here to make sure that this farm works as a uh, required. We are testing the water, making sure that everything is perfected. So I'll be taking you through more. Most of the step is at its going. But here now we are live at Abia Kuta. Today is the, uh, I think, uh, should be... So we are just here, I will be taking you more and giving you more series of what we are really doing here and how we can help farms, how we can grow farms, how we can make sure that most especially we are here for the archery part of it so that the archery can be successful. And in here we have a lot of things involved. We have our uh, our seashells, in here we have our uh, bicarbonate, and uh, we have our, uh, our test kits, the chlorine and the pH. And we have the uh, chlorine uh, uh, reducing tester. So everything is inclusive here. So we brought in most of everything that we will use in order to make sure that this farm is perfected. So I will take you to the brewstock section. We will be selecting the brewstock. We will be seeing how the brewstock is perfected and how we can check the perfect brewstock that we need for the hatchery for today. So all these steps I will be taking you through as you are watching the video. So once again, this is the 13th of... Uh, November 2021, and uh, I said earlier from my introduction, we are here at uh, Abiokuta at Alleluia Farm in Abiokuta. So we just got here very early in the morning, and so what we are trying to do is now is that we are trying to check around all the farms to see what they have on ground and to ask questions to know where they are getting it wrong. Uh, let me just give you a history of this farm. We have been invited to this farm uh, for a month ago uh, because of our time schedule. So I have to schedule uh, today, 13th November 2021, for them. So by the time we got here, the first thing you need to do as a professional is one, to make sure that you have some of the existing activity, to make sure that you see all the facilities, to know what they have on ground. So that is what we are seeing us presently doing. So we are here in the with the in here we have they have two archery room. The first one is the one I just came out from, uh, which I will still be going back inside. And the second archery room is the one you can see me with uh, with uh, Daddy. Daddy is the CEO of this uh, uh, farm, and uh, they are been running their archery process. And drawing in the grow house set, 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 setting, yeah, the grow house section of this farm too as well. In here they have chickens too as well, and they have snary. But uh, why I'm here is uh, because of the uh, persistent losses or unprofessional method of handling the the archery part of uh, the business. So that is what I'm here for. Uh, but before I uh, I can say anything or I can diagnose or I can start my work or I can do any activity, I will just have to ask the existing questions to know their modules and to, to really know if they really are professional enough in the business. Because uh, sometimes um, if people complain about their businesses, maybe on nursery or grow out on that aspect of cabbage farming, Sometimes they may not be professional enough and from their explanation is where you will see where things are going wrong, on, uh, wrong in the business. So during my explanation, uh, during their explanation, I started noticing where that problem is coming from because the problem I can discover now is being solved problem. This problem is not from uh, anybody but is from uh, them particularly are doing it but before I could uh, get to this farm I advised them to inject some fishes for me uh, so they injected about two fishes down that means two female fishes and brought out some male uh, fishes for the hatchery but this is what I normally do if I'm going to farm sometimes it may be inbreed because the problem that I noticed they have is that the fishes started dropping every third of fifth day they started experiencing mortality and everything will wipe off in the five to six days so uh, the causes of that may be one poor water management bad water uh, congestion 
pollution, stressed, and um, what we call the hybrid. So, what I do is that coming here, I brought uh, some of my pure Clara's uh, uh, female uh, uh, Clara's Garipinos is inside the car. So, I brought two of it so that I will use that in order to cross uh, to cross breed the female blue stock that was brought to me. So, you will see that in the video too as well. So, what I did is that I will be using one of my male fish. Uh, and the second female fish, I will be using their fish. And I will do it in separate tanks. With this, I can ascertain if it is an inbreed. But what I'm trying to do presently is that I'm trying to go around to see what whether it's from their water parameters that are having problems. As we all know that most of the parameters, the dangerous of the water parameters we do have in fish farming is uh, the acidity and the alkalinity. Other parameters can be treated can be uh, can be controlled through good water and uh, constant flow through but the ones that are, are difficult to control through that are the alkalinity and the acidity so what i'm trying to do now is that i'm trying to get water from the source that means in here they have three two well and one borehole so i'm getting water from the well now as you can see so test from the one to test from the ph to test for the alkalinity and to test for the chlorine maybe uh, sometimes the water may have been treated uh, for the substance which may be affecting them maybe it's not well evaporated so all this we have to do but before i do that that is mommy and greeting we have to pay homage to who deserves that means the uh, our king in the house our mommy our wives are always the kings in the house so after greeting mommy i have to go back uh, to my job so what i'm doing now is that i'm trying to check the ph of their water but testing the ph of their water the water is seven you can see the water is perfect so once their water is perfect i started imagining where the mistake started coming from because checking all the parameters and checking all what i think can be the problem of the farm uh, to so i'm trying to get and ascertain which and which one may be the problem so that i will later know where i'm going to for you can remember i told you i brought in some uh, of my clara some of my seeds so that i can check the uh, maybe there's inbreed they are doing because if you are doing inbreed that means you are really bringing out an immature a premature the uh, seedlings uh, fryers so and you, we all know what uh, premature's normally are premature's don't uh, they don't have the strength their immune system is very very low and as we know that fish is always in the water and there are a lot of uh, microorganisms that build in water parasitical uh, fungi and bacteria so on and so forth that uh, buffers build in water that that can attack them since their immune system is not well firmed and not, not well built well because of the inbreed so we need to check if that is done so all this should be seen in this video this video is analytical it's a practical video for farmers to learn from cartridge farming to learn from this process of archery to learn from other process of archery so i will still advise you guys make sure that you consult a very good expert that means a mentor if you are still getting one or two things wrong in your farm or if you, are, if you are even perfect in your farm get some people a like mind person to visit your farm so that is what we are seeing us doing here there's no way we will not advise you in one or two things that are going on in your farm to make sure that things started running as perfect as you deserve nobody is uh, willing to invest and will not really know what is doing in the business nobody is willing to invest i will not make money in the business so the well water we just tested is seven which is very very good that means the two well waters are very very good and we test for the chlorine is free from chlorine so that tells us now that the water is not having problem but before much i do we need to look again into their borehole because i understand the three sources of water they have in the house, they use it for the hatchery and for the go-out tanks. So I'll be going again to test for the P, the, for the uh, borehole, 
but I will be testing the direct water. So after testing the direct water, that means the direct water that comes from the bowl or the well, that's what we just see me tested. That's what I request for. And they are going up there to open the tap so that they can pump water so I can have the direct water from the borehole too as well. That is what you are seeing me trying to initiate. So this is very, very good way of practicing a mentorship program. This is a pure program, is a professionalism program that by the time you see the way it's being conducted, you yourself will know that you are going to get things right from your system. So they just got up there to bring out the water from directly from the borehole, which I will be tested to as well. If the parameters, the three parameters I'll be tested here is uh, the four parameters. That means I'll be testing for the pH, the alkalinity. I'll be testing for the chlorine and the Bauman. So that is the four parameters I'll be testing. As I said earlier on, the other parameters can be corrected uh, through an adequate uh, flow through system. If uh, it's only when you are having high on. Uh, in your water that you can know how to treat that you can treat that through your filtration system or you can treat that through uh, uh, we call it a water supporting system this can be it can be treated and it can be treated directly from your storage tank too as well if you know how to diffuse uh, an ultimate for your farm that can treat uh, that too as well so what uh, i'm doing here is, again is that you can see from the video i'm trying to test the water from the bowl directly which has been brought down for me so testing it again i can see that the water himself is about 6.5 2.7 so this is a very very good and it runs to seven so they have a perfect water so after checking their water that means from my uh, observation now because of the five of our six questions i've asked and i've uh, worked on i can see that the problem they are having i can sense that the problem is they are having is an indoor problems that's why they are not getting a result so uh, but before i couldn't con i would not uh, want to conclude on that yet so i would because of the professionalism i'm here to do i would like to make sure that i ask questions i do well everything to make sure that that means the best practice in archery business so that i have to test sorry i have to test all that to make sure that everything is being perfected before i can correct them on uh, the problem uh, they are having so we just finished testing uh, the water directly from the borehole so what we are doing now is that we are going back to the brew stock uh, uh, to the brew stop section of the farm which i will be checking their brew stocks I want to know the months for the blue stocks. I want to know how gravid is the blue stock. I want to know the species of the blue stocks. I want to know how the feed they are giving their blue stocks. I want to know how big is their blue stocks. I would like to check the uh, hex, uh, the maturity of the hex of the blue stock. I would like to check if the blue stocks have uh, released their hex. Uh, maybe the present hex is not well mature that they are using. So all these I'm checking in the blue stock. So what I just did now is to hold that for them to release the water from the female blue stocks and the male blue stock so that physically I can check myself to see if that is well and that is power perfected too as well. That is why I'm here. So that is why I have to do my job. So uh, doing my job is to make sure that all the best practice in the ashtray system is well uh, perfected. So in here, what you are seeing is where they do their grow out. They have a six pond standard pond for the grow out setting. So in here too, you can see from this video because I will be advising and be mentoring them on the grow out sector too as well. Because of the uh, non uh, performances of the ashtray system, you can see that everything here is being is being stand still. Nothing is working in this farm. But for us that we have stepped in, in this farm today, and not for me, but for God that have stepped in, in this farm today, and I hope things will be perfect and things will start running fine in this farm in six months. So I will try to show you how things will work in this farm too in six months because I will be in Abiyakuta in next month, that means December, 
for the Kafan uh, uh, for the Kafan conference. So I will use that as well to check uh, uh, the farm. So if you are in Abiyakuta too as well and you need the mentorship from us, make sure that you contact me before it went due so I can schedule a time for you to visit your farm, to mentor your farm, to correct some inches in your farm. So make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure that you please uh, you press on the notification button. Make sure that you share and like. You will see the thumbs up button. Make sure you press on the thumbs up button and try please. Make sure that you give feedback so that we can reply to answers you on every inches you may have here on catfish farming. So this is the part one of this video. Uh, I'll be releasing the part two of this video tomorrow. So if you if only you press on the notification button, you will get it. Thank you.